get a £5 free bet every week with Offer Club from William Hill. Simply stake a total of £20 or more across the week on pre-match football accumulators with four or more selections and you'll get a £5 free bet on the Friday. Join William Hill Offer Club on mobile or online now. This is Coogan Cassis for IFL TV in association with Matches Jim Marbella. The press conference here at Fredericks, uh, head of Billy Joe's Saunders' uh, defensive as well title, 22nd in Cardiff of October. With me I've got Frank Warren. How are you Frank? I'm good, yourself? All good, all good. Um, yeah, 10 months out of the ring, but uh, finally he's getting his uh, first defence in, Billy Joe Saunders. He is, it's been unfortunate. Um, injuries and a lot of messing around with the Eubankses, but um, He's fighting, that's the most important thing. Hopefully uh, he can put a good performance in and get the ring rust out of his system and come through that. And if he does, against a, you know, I think a fellow who's, who's obviously coming over here to uh, and fancy his chances, but if he comes through that, then we can set up uh, an opportunity for a big fight for him. Obviously, Akhavov ranks in the WBO. Uh, there was talk of potentially with Rob Brandt as well. Uh, yeah. What did it come down to in the end, Frank? Uh, just doing the deal, and we got the deal done very quickly. Uh, listen to Billy Joe Saunders talk in the press conference. He obviously anticipates being out of the ring for that long, a little bit of ring rust. This is uh, to get him out as well as anything else ahead of well, potentially needs, anything else. He needs it. He needs to get some rounds under his belt. And he needs to he need, not just the rounds, it's the training and everything. He needs he needs to to come alive. It's a great shame as well. He's supposed to be fine on the 29th. He's had, it's another problem. We had to bring the fight forward a week, but he's uh, he's okay for that deal. So. Um, I say 22nd, let's get him back in the ring, see the best of Bill, and, um, and hopefully he comes through, we can, we can move on. What fight would you say was the say, more simpler to make out of Canelo and Golovkin? I think, I think it depends where they take place. I mean, Canelo's not coming out of the United States anytime soon. And Golovkin does travel, but he's, he's indicated he only wants to fight in the States at the moment. So um, it's all about agreeing the terms. Mm. It's a similar, we had an offer also to go to Japan against Murata, so that's another thing that's been looked at, but that, that's where we are. Right? So, obviously, Billy Joe Saunders will want to fight potentially again. Uh, if things go well for him, hopefully they do on the 22nd, uh, around December time. Uh, is that what the plan is, what you look to do, get him out again if you're by having to wait? We're not going to sit around waiting for things to happen, so we will get him out again if need be, and uh, he will he, he, he'll fight. I don't want him to stagnate. I don't, it's just, you know, he's, he, he's 27 years of age. He should be having at least three fights a year. And defending his title regularly, and he's just not been able to do it this year. Are you satisfied with what Billy Joe will potentially earn from a potential, say, Golovkin fight? Has that been sort no, of No, he was looking for more than was put on the table, and, and that's my job to ensure that he gets well paid. And, uh, and you know, bottom line is, uh, at the moment, all that's on the back burner. He's got to focus on the 22nd, he's got to beat Abacop, and then get that out of the way then hopefully we can, uh, we can sit down and talk about it. I don't want to be focusing on what happens next because the problem is with that, you take his eye off the ball. I don't want to be phoning him up saying, oh, you, this, is, this is what they've offered, that's what it is. Get this fight out of the way. This fellow can be a real banana skin for him. And let's get it right, if he comes in, if he wins it, he'll be the one who want to be making these two fights because he can have a value, valuable asset, which is the WBO middleweight belt. Obviously, Billy Joe Saunders has been added to this uh, card, uh, existing card in Cardiff, um, with also Williams and Patterson and uh, Tommy Langford yeah. defending against uh, Sam Sheedy. So uh, it's a stacked card at the Motor Point Arena in Cardiff. Frank. It, it certainly is. It's a great show, and uh, I think we've got some great fights on there. Involving a couple of undefeated fighters, a lot of pride at stake with all of them, and, uh, and they're they're all all going to lead on to bigger and better things. We're happy, obviously, Tommy Langford getting that British title. Yeah, shot. I mean, he, you know, Tommy's Tommy's a, a great professional. It was very. Um, I think I've said all I can say probably about the Eubank team, but it was very, very. Um, I think it's disgraceful the way they, they they behaved, and it's disgraceful the way they treated Tommy Langford and what they've said about him. But then again, you know. That's the story of seems of his career. I'll no show you be. Um, obviously, boxing was rocked last week uh, with the, the death in Glasgow. Mike Tao 
Um, it's a very harsh reality of what this sport actually is, Frank, or can be. Well, it is, and it's all about, you know, and, and, and I think what it, it hopefully has drawn the attention to, to certainly the boxers more than anything. I mean, they're all aware of their dangers, but it's brought, bring to their attention that they have to communicate to a doctor when a doctor's there and telling the doctor if there's an issue. You know, it's been reported that um, Mike had been having migraines for two weeks leading up to the fight. I'm quite sure he wouldn't, he couldn't have told the doctor that had he had told him. I'm quite sure the doctor wouldn't have allowed him to box. So it's about communicating that to, to the um, you know, to the doctors. That's what they're there for. And only you know you can see if a guy's got you know, banged up his hand or he's got a cut or whatever, but you can't see what's going on inside their heads. Obviously, whenever things like this happen, it is a, a rarity. But when it does happen, there is always the uh, traditional call for boxing to be banned. Yeah, and, I, I, uh, and we play into the hands sometimes. You know, when you get promoters sitting in saunas with boxers, and we know that that's happened, and that's and I, you know, and that's not being clever or being smart. That's being being in the sport for a long, long time. And how can anybody condone that? Because that could have. That's one of the main causes of dehydration. Of injuries. I'm quite sure when this all comes, at, when the end of this, it's going to be interesting in to see you know what actually happened leading up to the fight. But dehydration is 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 the major cause of the brain brain uh, fatalities and brain injuries and in the ring um, because the you know the, as we all know the, the brain sits in uh, fluid. And that fluid helps protect it. And if you're dehydrated, then you lose that fluid. Even leading up to the fight, you lose you lose the fluid. So that for him was a, you know that 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 for them to be sitting in, or a promoter or anybody sitting at take actually getting in the sauna with a boxer is beyond me. And that's why I banged on about it so much last time around because when these these terrible situations happen, it's the sport that has to pick the pieces up. It's the families that, more importantly, that suffer because they were not protected properly. Well, our thoughts and uh, condolences go to, out to, to his family, family from everybody, and, and close and, friends. And, and I know Ricky, Ricky Hatt has done a tremendous thing in setting up a fund. And uh, hopefully, I know money's not the answer to everything, but I hope that that will you know, ensure that um, there is some financial cushion for them in, in, to help him, if it can help, if that's at all possible, in such a tragic and terrible loss for. Mike and Mike's family is Chloe, I think his girlfriend's name is, and, and their son. I mean, it's a, it's 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 it's, it's such a hot, a, a, an awful, tragic situation. It certainly is. Um, Frank, I know in the press conference uh, you're reluctant to really talk about it. Can you just make some comment on on this Tyson Fury situation? Well, my tweet out says. Uh, well, retired today. You know, um, first of all, he's tweeted out today, and it's you know, it's, you know, I don't know what side of bed he got out this morning, but he's tweeted that out. His mate Billy Joe Saunders got a press conference today, and it's not helped his press press conference because we're talking about Tyson yeah. putting a tweet out. Um, I don't know what to say about Tyson. You know, he's a, he's a I've got a lot of time for him as, as a fighter. I think he's a tremendous fighter. I think he's the best heavyweight out there. But he's got he's obviously got mental issues, which is self admitted, but what's what's been happening in the last few days I think is is ridiculous. I don't know why he's doing why he's doing those things. He needs to just I think he's getting hopefully he's getting help and he needs to focus on that rather than keep all these putting these statements and ridiculous photographs he puts out. He doesn't do himself any favours. And he is you know, he's a bright guy, he's not stupid, he's a very intelligent guy, he's a great boxer. He probably, for me, was a performance of, of the last year in beating uh, Klitschko. I don't, think he got, I don't think he got the plaudits he should have got from it regarding um, certainly the Boxing Morning Control awards. I thought his performance, not, nothing against Carl Frampton, a great fighter as well, but I think his was more significant win, beating a guy who'd been undefeated for 11 years. But all that, he it, 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 it just sometimes... I don't think he understands, you know, what what you know what he's doing to himself. And I don't know whether it, I don't know what it, what the issues are, but I hope he sorts them out. And I hope he do course him. If he decides to box, he comes in um, mentally capable and, and 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 shows the world what he's got. But that's again, it's all going to be down to him. He's got a lot of other things to sort out in his life before he thinks about boxing again. And hearings and. Who knows what would have gotten him by? He's got a lot, a lot of problems to sort out. 
Frank, what's your thoughts on the potential fight between Anthony Joshua and Vladimir Klitschko? It's a great fight. It's a great fight. It's a great fight. Um, Klitschko, who was comprehensively beaten by Tyson Fury against Anthony Joshua. What's wrong with that? That's a good fight. You know, um, I haven't got a problem with that fight at all. I think it's a good fight. Obviously, it makes sense. Klitschko already was in camp for Fury, and yeah, Joshua was fighting around exactly. around the same time. And it may be the answer to, to both their problems. Um, I, I think that's a great fight, but it's, you know, it's uh, it's the fella that Tyson beat comprehensively. That's what it was. And it's a great shame that Tyson's not still there to show that he's the best out of all of it. But that being said, it is a great fight. I like the fight. Anything on Huey Fury? He's boxing um, at the end of. End of November. End of November. Yeah. Potentially who against? No, 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 they're not there yet on that. We're, we're a while to go on that, yeah. Yeah, we're to go on that, yeah. All right, Frank, well, listen, thank you very much for coming to uh, Eiffel TV, and uh, I'm sure we'll catch up with you in due course. Yeah, you certainly will. Thank you very much. Sure.